You know what? We loitering here. You know what? Okay. We're under extreme weather. Or aren't we under? Yeah, there's lots of shelters. Lots of shelters, though. shelters the city provides for those. No, but the. Uh, okay, then off you go. Oh my god. What you're looking at is a video recorded by a member of Edmonton's Bear Clan Patrol, a humanitarian group who walks the city's most vulnerable areas and provides food and necessities to those in need. Sunday night, the group went into Central LRT station to serve food to the people who were staying inside. Soon after, they were approached by Edmonton police and told to serve the food outside. Minus, feels like minus 33 out, and EPS has just kicked everybody that was taking shelter and food and clothing from the Bear Clan. And EPS has just come and kicked everybody out of the warmth and sent them eating uh, outside. Wow, they can't even stand here. This comes after the city of Edmonton activated its extreme weather response to help vulnerable people. The city's transit service has been providing overnight bus routes that travel between shelters and other key locations free of charge. But there is nothing said about whether or not vulnerable people can stay inside an LRT station to stay warm. It's not, yeah, yeah, of course. But they are. Well, you know what, if they're hungry, you know? Yeah. The video has received hundreds of shares and comments after it was posted to the Bear Clan Facebook page. One person commenting, this is awful. These people are not bothering anyone. This was close to midnight and there is a bitter wind making it feel like minus 33 or colder. Another saying, I was there and it was worse than the video. They were grabbing food from people and throwing it in the garbage. They were aggressive with the unhoused and our volunteers. These EPS officers have no regard for human life. Can't we do better than this, EPS? Really? People just want to eat EPS. That's it. And I agree, they should be able to. Oh you just my can't do it God. In here. This isn't a restaurant. You know you just what? have to do it out there. No, we have been feeding them all through the cold snap. City News reached out to EPS for a comment on this incident. They replied saying, in this particular case, we should have better communicated our role in helping connect citizens to the City of Edmonton's services and partner agencies whose goals are to keep vulnerable citizens safe and warm. There is no place for these human beings to go and eat. But do you guys care? No, because you guys can go home to a nice warm spot, right? and eat all you want. From Edmonton, Bailey Nitty, City News.